Aquarius, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself, and I do have the Instagram if you'd like to check that out. If not, that's totally cool. That's not the reason that we're here today, right, Aquarius? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you got coming in for you. The energy surrounding your life between now and the first week of January 2023. Also, if you're dealing with the person, um, we're going to take a look into their energy and see uh, their energy towards you, see how they see you, how they feel about you. Uh, what they're hiding from you, what they don't want you to know, and also what they do want you to know, but they're not saying it. And then um, we're going to go through all 12 signs quickly and expeditiously and get the energies of each specific sign um, so that you can kind of pinpoint it to the person that you're dealing with, if you're dealing with the person. But we'll see where the reading goes. All right, let's jump in. Please keep in mind that these messages are general. They're not specific to just one person. So take what sounds like it belongs to you and disregard the rest. If it doesn't sound like the story, it's probably not. Leave that part, forget about it, let somebody else have it. All right, also encourage you to use your own intuition and uh, read along with me or go along with me if you know what your story. Also, you can comment along story or uh, comment along with me as you watch the reading and um, um, incorporate your, your energy into the reading. So, but definitely use your own intuition as well. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely helps the channel and helps keep you motivated. All right, let's jump in, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising for the Collective. Please bring me clear and accurate messages. Aquarius, how you doing? You look good. All right, what's going on with Aquarius? Please bring me clear and accurate messages. What's going on with Aquarius? All right, we've got a jumper, Aquarius. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. We have the full we dealing with an Aries, somebody with Aries in their chart. So Aquarius, it looks like you're going to be taking a leap of faith to something. It looks like there's some type of situation. This could be something new, but uh, it looks like you're going to be wanting to take a leap of faith at something or jumping right into something, diving head first, taking a risk. So we'll see what it is. All right, Aquarius. Um, it looks like you're in the planning stage. It looks like there's something that you're uh, that you're planning um, in regards to. There could have been a third party situation here with the Three of Swords in reverse. Somebody that you're dealing with could be dealing with somebody else, or there could be some type of interference in your connection. But it does look like. Um, it does look like a third party situation here. It looks like you're uh, you're in the judgment stage. It looks like you're evaluating your situation, really, really taking a good look at it and saying, is this something I want to deal with? You could have forgiven the person. Um, I see the part, I see that the issue here is that you're having a hard time either moving past the negative thoughts or, or it could even be forgiveness here. Five of cups crossing the spread. It looks like you're focused on the negative. So this could have just happened. It looks like you're focused on what went wrong. You're not focusing on what is still there. Uh, if there is something left there, it looks like you're going to begin some truth and clarity about what happened or what's going on. Uh, with the Ace of Swords coming in for you in your immediate future. In the recent past, you have the Seven of Cups. And um, um, this tells me that somebody possibly was looking at other options. There could have been some other options or other people. Somebody could have been daydreaming or fantasizing about somebody else. Could have been talking to, to multiple people. But I do see that somebody was looking at options. It could have caused some type of confusion here too. Now, it looks like you are trying to make a plan or trying to figure something out. Okay, what do I do with this? Uh, now that I'm aware of this, or now that I know that this is going on or, or has gone on, what do I do with this information? Where do I go with it? Aquarius, you could have done this to somebody also. It looks like in your current energy, it looks like you are apologizing to somebody or, or wanting to fix somebody, fix, fix a situation with somebody with a page of cups. You could be offering some type of small apology to somebody. If you haven't done this, you could be on the way of doing it, or you could be in the, in the, the making, possibly even planning how you're going to make this apology to this person i do say that the person that you're waiting for they are waiting you could be dealing with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius also you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio it doesn't have to be any of them but these are the energies that i'm seeing on the table now um i do see that you're hoping for some type of communication with this person hoping that this person reaches out or that you guys at least get to talk about it hash things out uh, get out in the open what has happened what's going on uh this person's waiting 
you're gonna get the truth on this situation though this is this is coming in quick you're gonna get the you're gonna figure something out or get whether it's from this person or somebody else i feel like it could even be from the divine you could just be getting some type of mental download or some aha whoa okay now i get it uh moment but you do have that coming in here with the ace of swords so the person that you're dealing with, it looks like they are waiting. They could be expecting communication from you here with the Eight of Wands. This person could be expecting it. Again, this is heavy fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this person could be waiting for you. Now, you could also be fearing having a conversation with this person. I'm not getting that for the masses. Maybe for one or two of you guys could be fearing this. But I feel like... Uh, now, maybe, maybe, maybe you are, because I do see some planning here in regards of trying to fix something. So whether you did something or this other person did something, take it however it applies to you. But um, this, this other person, whoever this is in your energy, it looks like they are doing some waiting for you. How does, um, how does Aquarius see this person? Please give me clear and accurate messages. How does Aquarius see this person? So they see you as a five of pentacles. You could have ghosted this person. They could have ghosted you. However, it resonates. Somebody's left out in the cold. Somebody's, uh, this is the, the energy of being abandoned. How does this person um, feel about Aquarius? I'm sorry, how does Aquarius feel about this person? Aquarius, this person could have ghosted you. Please shut the door. This person could have ghosted you. Yes. How does Aquarius feel about this person? No, 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 no. How does Aquarius feel about this person? So it looks like there could be, uh, you got some communication coming in. You could be dealing with an air sign, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Both swords have a king of uh, swords and the ace of swords. So the person, um, the way you're feeling about this person, this, this could be somebody who is kind of strict, a strict talker, somebody who thinks logically. There could be somebody, this person could be upset too. There could be some type of tension here, but this person's upset. It does look like they're willing to talk. It may be a kind of here, you talk to me and I'm gonna listen, but I want the truth. There's something about some type of truth coming out here though. With both of these swords here, there's some type of truth here in regards, you know, my eyes just went back to this three of swords in reverse. So with all of these swords here, swords represent uh, communication. They represent clarity, truth. With all these swords here, also air energy, I feel like there's gonna be some type of truth coming out about this. It's gonna be happening fairly quick. You're gonna, you're either, now, if you don't know that this is uh, going on, you could be finding out pretty quick, if not during this reading, but um, don't let this reading be the final say-so. Make sure you find out on your own. Um, Major Arcana, Judgment. This is, um, this is in the place of your um, conscious goals. So your conscious goal is you wanna, you wanna judge this situation. Situation, you want to judge the situation when uh, you're looking at it, evaluating what do I do with this? This is going to be a, a major turning point in my life. I have to make the right decision on this. Th and I feel like there's some really, really deep planning here with the two of wands here. Really deep planning. What do I do? What decision do I make? I have to get this right. Where am I going to go with this? Am I going to stay? Am I going to leave? Am I going to forgive? Am I going to tell the truth? Whatever it is, am I going to listen to this person's truth or their bullshit? Whatever it is, but um, how does this person see Aquarius? Please give me clear and accurate messages. How does this person see Aquarius? So Aquarius, so they see you as possibly wanting to uh, fix things. You could be sending them emotional text messages or whispering sweet nothings in their ear if you're still in contact with this person. Um, again, it could be dealing with a water sign. I have heavy water here. Now you have the Page of Cups and you have the Knight of Cups. Um, this is, yeah, so this person sees you. They could be aware that you're wanting to fix things. I feel like maybe Aquarius, you messed up. You did something and you're wanting to fix things. Were you looking at other options and you and there's some regrets here? Aquarius, I feel like you did something here. I feel like that you're the one that did something and you're looking at other, you were looking at other options in the past. You, you may have did something, you put somebody in a third party situation. Now you're having regrets. You want to talk about it with this person? This person could feel abandoned and, and ghosted by you. Now they see that you wanted to come back in and fix things. How does, this, uh, how does this person feel about Aquarius? Oh. We have the full. So they feel like you just want to rush in and just and just go for it. Possibly even want to just go in and just go act like nothing even happened and just, just pick up where you left off. What is the mutual energy? What's the mutual energy between Aquarius and this person? What's the mutual energy? Eight of Pentacles. You guys could be both uh, working on things or talking about working on things or willing to work on things. 
You guys could be trying to build something, build from the ground up. You guys possibly could have even met at work or, or worked together. But I feel like uh, mutually you guys are, are, are working on things or you guys are talking about working on things. I don't feel like this is completely over. I feel like this person is waiting for you to make things right. That's what's going on. These pers this person's waiting for you to make things right here. I feel like that's what it is. Um, what does this person not want Aquarius to know? Yeah, so they're playing it cool. They're playing it cool, the Nine of Cups. Um, this person, you also, this is also the card of wish fulfillment. So you could be this person's wish fulfillment, vice versa. But um, I feel like this person, if, if, if you accept their apology or their truth or whatever this is, or vice versa, I feel like um, it would be like a dream come true to this person. It would be like a, like, like a wish fulfillment to them. What does this person want Aquarius to know? What does this person want Aquarius to know? Yeah, so they're trying to get information. They're, they're, they could be talking to your friends and family. They could be talking to, um, you know, people they know or looking at your social media. But this person, I feel like they do want to take some type of action or want you to take action towards them. Um, but there's a, the, a curious element here. There's a curious where they, they want more information before, possibly before they act. I don't see this person act. They're waiting for you, the Three of Wands. They're waiting on you. I do see you going towards them, though. This could be you telling this person the truth here in the near future, the Ace of Swords. I do see regrets here, though. I see that you're having some uh, type of regrets. Um, in your outcome, you have the Eight of Swords. So you're going to be stressed out about this, Aquarius. You're going to be stressed out. You could have some sleepless nights, worrying or, or up at night. Somebody could be dealing with headaches. But I feel like this is going to stress you out until then. Until you're able to do this or able to go and make amends or whatever it is that this person's waiting for i feel like it's going to stress you out this is your outcome here so aquarius you know what you got to do got to do what's right go in make that apology this person's waiting on you make things right tell the truth lay it all out if you did put this person in a third party be honest about it tell the truth judgment is upon you all right, that's what I have. Let's go through all 12 signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, dealing with the Aries, the Aries, um, they could be sticking around a little longer than they should, but they're hanging out and trying to trying to figure things out. They're, they're sticking around and either hoping that things are going to change or things are going to get better, but um, I don't see this person going anywhere. They could be feeling stuck too. If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, I do see that there is going to be a passion and new beginning here with this person. Uh, th th is going to be overflowing with, with love and passion and uh, you're going to get a new start with this person. It's going to be brand new. You're not going to go back into the old connection and fix things. You're going to have a whole new brand new connection with this person. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, you're dealing with the Sagittarius, um, I feel like you guys will have some type of conversation here. It's going to be a truth and straightforward um, um, conversation. Somebody's going to hold their feelings back. It's not going to be very emotional, but it's going to be, it's going to be straightforward. There's going to be a lot of truths coming out. If you're dealing with the cancer, dealing with the cancer, um, it, it is going to be equal. It's going to you guys are going to go back and forth equally, or the or the connection itself is going to be equal, but it's going to be balanced. There's going to be a lot of balance here. Reciprocity. If you're dealing with a who's that Scorpio? If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is finally releasing something, some type of big burden. Somebody could be actually moving. I do see somebody like picking up and just going and say, you know what, enough is enough on whatever level that is, and going and uh, re relieving themselves, releasing a burden. If you're dealing with the Pisces, dealing with the Pisces, um, you could be getting together with this person and meeting. You guys could have some type of social time, uh, possibly have the drinks together, um, maybe talk things out, try to understand each other, hear each other out, but I do see some type of uh, social gathering here. If you're dealing with a Virgo, dealing with the Virgo, somebody finds somebody really attractive. I don't feel like this person is ready for commitment or they're in the, the energy or the mind of commitment, but I do feel like somebody is really attractive here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of sexual uh, energy, uh, intention. I see a redhead here too. 
Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with the Taurus, there could be some type of secrets. The person could be keeping some type of secrets. Um, something that there, there's they're they're either keeping secrets or there's something intuitively. There's something they're into. They're listening to their intuition. Their intuition is speaking to them. Their intuition is telling them what needs to be done, what they need to do. Their intuition is speaking, and I feel like whatever this is that their intuition is saying, they're keeping that from you. There's something that's, that's they're getting some type of information here, not even here, here in the pineal gland. And, uh, and it's and it's intuitive information, and they're, that's what they're keeping away from you. They're keeping this secret. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, dealing with a Capricorn, I see ultimate happiness. Somebody's uh, traveling towards their happiness. You have the Sun card, uh, Leo energy. Somebody is is either wants to be happy or is going to be completely happy, but or is happy. But um, I do see ultimate happiness here. Here, it's yes. It's all yes, positive, abundance. It's it's fulfillment. It's 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 great energy. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like you could be going to travel to see somebody, or things could be just charging forward and fast and just going. You could be going to see somebody for New Year's Eve, and you could be having to travel somewhere where it requires a, a flight. Or just a distance but i feel like this person could be from at a distance from you they could be traveling to see you vice versa uh if you're dealing with a uh, libra dealing with a libra um somebody is unclear possibly could i don't know i don't know if this is secrets but somebody could be holding something back just just holding back information not necessarily lying or being deceptive or anything but also not revealing whatever this is there's some type of unknown there's some type of mystery taboo that somebody is hiding and keeping secret. If you're dealing with a Gemini, dealing with a Gemini, I see a victory. There's going to be a victory, a victory with you and the Gemini. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, planning, talking about, whatever, yes, it's going to go. There's going to be a success there. So that's what I have for you. Please like, share, subscribe, and also let me know if this is your story. Let's talk about it in the comments, all right? I'll see you guys down there. Till the next one. Peace.